What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a studio domination game. I go 41 and 22 or something like that. Uh, I believe I'm using an MSMC. I can't really see the gameplay right now because I'm kind of trying to rush to get this commentary done. So I, I it hasn't finished uploading the movie maker. So yeah, anyway. Uh, um, today I wanted to talk about what what makes a good teammate not just for competitive but for anything for any sport um to me the best teammate is the one that no matter how many mistakes you make they'll forgive you for your mistakes as long as you keep trying like like for example like in soccer i was a goalie i had a lot of pressure on me every game and i had pressure not to give up a goal well if i did give up that goal the good teammates would be like, oh, it's okay, uh, and maybe tell me what I did wrong. Like, you shouldn't have come out so far, or you should have stayed back, or, well, it's the same thing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have come out so, so far, or you should have come out further, or something like that. Like, they, that's a good teammate. Like, my friend Mike, who I dedicated that Army of Two video, he was one of my soccer teammates. Uh, he, by the way, he's okay now. He got discharged. Um... But anyway, he was one of my best teammates because him and I were great friends on and off the field. Uh, it was funny. We had like we have like a really good relationship. Like we can tell each other almost anything, and no one has to worry about it. Um, but anyway, Mike would say like I would give up a goal, and he could see me get frustrated, and he'd be like, "Hey, don't worry about it." one goal we got we can get that back or hey don't worry about it it's one, like if we were up to one hey don't worry about it we're still up keep your head up or something like that like that's what a good teammate does a good teammate just says don't worry about it and let me just give you guys a little bit of my thinking as a goalie I think a goalie is only as good as his defense uh, for those of you who don't know what that means that means like for example if I have defenders who aren't trying, then I'm not going to be able to block every shot because I, a goalie, if you take 10 shots in a row, because you can't catch everything, you got to deflect some. If you take 10 shots in a row, that's the most tiring thing of that day. Like Taking a lot of shots, it, it may look like it's easy work to be a goalie, but one shot is difficult enough to block. Imagine taking 10 in a row and having to block all of them or... 20 and 20 shots in 45 minutes having to read the angle in a matter of seconds just imagine that pressure that's on you um so yeah that's basically my thinking as a goalie is i try to figure out the angle of the ball i read the hips of the player so that way i can see where they're going and that's what makes me as good as i am i'm not trying to sound cocky but i'm definitely not varsity starting caliber but like right now maybe I will be in a couple years who knows but uh, this year I was on freshman team I was the starting goalie um, I'm not playing next year due to personal reasons um, but that's really what makes a good teammate like a good teammate is one you get along with like there's there's Joe there's Mike there was hold on let me think there was Joe, there was Mike, on some days Sebastian, the other Sebastian, uh, Sebastian S is the one I got along with a lot, um, he was a team captain, there was Charlie, um, Theo, um, one thing that made Charlie really popular, he was a team captain too, we had three team captains, Charlie, Se uh, Sebastian, and uh, I forget the other one, I think the other one was Theo. Anyway, one thing that made Charlie really popular was he broke his arm and was not able to play for three weeks. He didn't miss a single practice in those three weeks. He came to every single practice in every single game and was our biggest cheerleader at all of those. So that's what made him really popular, and that's another aspect of a good teammate. Like, um, There was one game I sat out because I was having issues with my back. And I told the coach, I was like, oh, my back hurts, don't put me in. He's like, all right. So I stood there, and I basically 
cheered on my team like any good teammate would. And um, there was a game I was benched for having an attitude during practice. I didn't complain. I didn't just sit there slumped on playing on my phone or something like that. I sat there, paid attention, cheered on my teammates, watched every move that our team would make and make sure that they knew what their mistakes were so they wouldn't make the same mistake again. And letting somebody know about their mistake isn't isn't wrong. It's how you say it. Like if you say next time you should try this, that's completely fine. But if you say you're stupid, you shouldn't have done that, then that's not gonna get you respect. Like the way I always approached a guy is um like, I would always calmly walk up, not, like, run at him. And if he, to if he sh told me to go away, I would just walk away. Um, and I would say, listen, I'm not trying to start anything, but I think if I were in that situation, I would, for example, if the guy got crossed, I would have read his, I would have tried to re read his hips. And I wouldn't have jabbed at the ball like you did. And most of the time, teammates won't get mad about that because you're being respectful. But if you say, yo, next time, next time you do that, I'm going to tell coach to bench you if you're a captain or something like that. Like, that's not going to get you respect. You're not going to be popular. So, yeah, like, it doesn't make any sense why people would do that. Uh, I don't understand why captains are like that sometimes. Sorry, I was just picking up something. Um... I, good captains and good teammates make a good team. It doesn't matter, win-loss doesn't matter in the end. It matters if you make friends on your team, and it matters if you make friendships that'll last forever. Like, from soccer, I'm friends with Sebastian, I'm friends with Mike. Um, the only kid I really didn't like, there was two kids I didn't like on my team, and that was Richard and Jason. And Jason I didn't like because he's, a compulsive liar, for those of you who don't know what that means, he basically lies as an instinct. Um, and he sat out because he wrapped up his hand with an ace bandage and then sat out because he wasn't, or, or didn't come to practice because he supposedly burned his hand on fries at school. And the fries at school aren't even that hot. Um, he said he got a third degree burn. Now, you can't get a third degree burn from food like that. And if... Like, it was, the food comes out maybe 100 degrees at the hottest, so there's no way he got a third degree burn. Now I see the gameplay. So, um, if I do something, I'll make a comment on it. Um, ooh, nice two-piece by me. Anyway, he claims he got third degree burns. Well, everybody knew he was lying, because everybody knew you couldn't get third degree burns from something like that. Like, so that's why I didn't like him. Um, then the next time he said he got hit by a car... And he was at school the next day walking. Nah, he didn't get hit by a car. Uh, and then there was another thing he said that I didn't like him for. Um, Rich and I had a had a huge rivalry. Rich was the other goalie. Um, I ended up beating him out for the spot, and him and I hated each other after that. Um, it went downhill from there. It was horrible. Um, basically. Once I won the spot, he, during practice, would do anything he could to try to hurt me, to keep me out from the next game. That's how it hurt my back, actually. Um, what happened was I was going for the ball, and he pushed me into the goalpost, and I slammed my back flat on the goalpost, and I had to be pulled out of practice. And I, At first, I could barely walk, but that was from the shock of it. It wasn't really from the injury. Um... Like, I was just so shocked, I didn't know, like, I couldn't move, and, like, I was terrified because I thought it was worse than it actually was. Um, and, of course, not me not barely being able to walk made me really upset, uh, and I flipped out. And that was, like, one of the first practices of the season, and after that, Rich and I just completely hated each other. Rich um, got one start in the season, or no, he got three starts in the season, one because I was... No, they started Joe when I was hurt, actually. Uh, there was four goalies. Joe, Rich, myself, and Jason. The one I didn't like. Ooh, nice two-piece for final kill cam. So, yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. 
Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. And as always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, thanks for watching. Operation complete. Nice job.